What's going on guys? This is Zach Adkins and in this video we're going to talk about the crazy Jane's addiction thing that's happened on stage. It caused this big uproar and I want to get into it. I am not by any means a Jane's addiction fan. That's not my cup of tea, if you will. But uh, it is interesting that this is happening right now, especially like with this like reunion tour that they're on and they've got all of this like riding on. Maybe there's like so much pressure that maybe the guy just snapped. I don't know. What I think about this, like, you know, a little while ago, a couple days ago, I, I posted a video about like meet and greets and why like musicians need to do better at providing value for their fans. This is literally like the only reason I wanted to talk about it was because like this right here. If you haven't seen the video, I want to get right into it. Let's t let's watch the video first, see what happens, and then we'll talk more about it. I actually really believe that Dave Navarro was like super freaked out. Like, I don't think he, I think at first he thought like, what is going on? Is this like a stage thing? Is he just like being weird? But then he realized, oh shit, this guy's like trying to hurt me. And then he finally was like, kind of telling him like, stop it, you know, like calm down. And his eyes were like, well, shoot. But I guess that's what happens when uh, you have a lead singer that is literally like he's known for just being a weirdo. You know, even back in the 90s, he's just a weirdo. The guy's freaked out. Look at him. What are you, you freak? That's a good point. And that's okay. I don't, I'm judging the guy for that. But what did you expect this guy to do, right? Now, Perry came out and apologized. And he says, this weekend has been incredibly difficult and... After having the time and space to reflect, it is only right that I apologize to my bandmates, especially Dave Navarro, fans, family, and friends for my actions during Friday's show. Unfortunately, my breaking point resulted in inexcusable behavior, and I take full accountability for how I chose to handle the situation. So, okay, here's the situation that he's talking about. Supposedly, what happened was, so he has uh, tinnitus, right? So his ears are ringing really bad. He can't hear anything. And he has a sore throat because he wasn't feeling good. So he's in a bad mood. He can't hear himself. He can't sing very well. Everything's going crappy. And then, apparently, Dave Navarro went over to the bass player guy and said, hey, we need to turn up because this guy is not sounding good and we need to turn up our stage volume so we could drown him out and then whatever. I don't see it being that malicious, to be honest. It seemed like Dave was just playing a solo during his solo section and the stage volume was so loud that Perry couldn't hear himself and he started having to yell more and then it just set him off. And then he decided to take it, off on, uh, take it out on Dave Navarro, which is like, okay, that's the right person to do that to. My problem with it is that, like, they're going to start framing it in a way that essentially, like, paints him out to be, like, a victim, right? He's got, he has to be a victim in this. He can't just be, like, you know, an asshole. Maybe he's just being a jerk. He's just being an asshole. It's like, no, he's got a, he's going to have a mental illness or, you know, he's sick or his cat is sick or whatever the hell. They're, they're going to paint this picture so that way people go, oh, I feel so bad for him and now I won't be upset. But no, the truth is, is that the guy is not doing a good job at, at taking care of himself so he can take care of his fans. And that's the end of the story. Maybe he just shouldn't be touring. That would be fine. Probably. The guy just needs to hang it up and say, you know what? I've made enough money. I've done enough and I'm good to go. And maybe that would be enough for his mental health. So Dave Navarro, I guess, and Jane's Addiction, the other guys in the band, uh, all released a statement that says, due to the continuing pattern of behavior and the mental health difficulties of our singer, Perry Farrell, we have come to the conclusion that we have no choice but to discontinue the current U.S. tour. Our concern for his personal health and safety, as well as our own, has left us no alternative. We hope that he will find the help he needs. We deeply regret that we are not able to come through for all our fans who have already bought tickets. We can, no, we, we can see no solution that would either ensure a safe environment on stage or reliably allow us to deliver a great performance on a nightly basis. Our hearts are broken, Dave, Eric, and Steve. I actually kind of believe the three of them for saying what they said. Like, there's no way they're going to be able to, like, go on stage and be like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a good show. It, no, there's no more of that. Like, 
every night is going to be like, is this the night he's going to freak out? Is this the night that he's going to stab us all on stage or something? Like, that would be my concern. Like, the guy's obviously lost his mind. Like, you know, what, what really sucks is that the people that paid for the show, shows the, if you will, and potentially like, you know, meet and greets or, you know, VIP events and stuff. It's like, yeah, okay, they're going to get their money back. But it's like, man, they, a lot of them don't want their money back. They want to just have a show. But like I said, you know, a lot of these guys are so, they're so delusional. They live in this freaking weird, like, bubble that they're untouchable. You know, they can do whatever they want and it doesn't affect anybody. But then after 20, 30, 40 years of doing that, you end up just like being a sick like sick-minded person and I, I feel bad you know i'm sure he does have some mental health issues you know when you when you've done every drug under the sun and have been basically paid to be weird your entire life yeah it's it's you know it's kind of goes into like the whole idea of like the music industry in and of itself breeds this kind of like behavior they encourage it through paying you to continue being that way like you basically are just paying enough to be a druggie and to get through life and then they keep supplying it just enough to keep you going so they can continue to make money off of you it's a vicious cycle it's really sad if there's anything that we can really like learn from it is like and i and i hope that other musicians are watching this it's like take care of yourself man take care of your mental health take care of like if you have a drug addiction or if you have like an alcohol problem or whatever like take care of that stuff or try not to do it if you haven't done it yet like don't just go down that road you know like because you get to this guy's age 65 years old and you have essentially been paid to be a weirdo and do drugs your whole life and you have been paid to to be encouraged to act a certain way and then you do so like don't even go down that road like this is a lesson for younger people like take care of yourself physically and mentally and then take care of the fans that you have if you have any and if you don't have any get some and then take care of them. yeah man it's it's really sad actually like I, I i don't wish anybody harm i don't wish anybody like it's kind of distress but i'm not buying a lot of it i think that it's just a bunch of you know pr stuff so that way they can get the tickets back to people or get the money back for the tickets they purchased to the try to not have like people get super pissed off and stuff but it's like you know you see people are like oh my god i feel so bad for him i didn't know all this was going on in his life it's like gross they obviously had to try to paint him as as the victim of something and yeah that's fine it's kind of par for the course but i'm i'm not buying it i just think that the guy literally just has not been well for a while and is continuing to tour even though he shouldn't be and it's a cash grab probably forced to be there in some way by like Ticketmaster or Live Nations or whoever owns Jane's Addiction at this point. I don't know. I do hope he gets the help he needs, but I don't think the help he needs is going to be found on tour. Yeah, I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on the whole situation? Leave me a comment. Maybe you know a little bit more about the story than I do, and if you do, I'd love to hear more about it. I'm, I'm kind of super invested in the story now, even though I'm not a super big Jane's Addiction fan. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Like the video. Whatever. You know, do all the cool stuff. And uh, yeah, keep me posted. We'll see you in the next video.